Well, I want you to know, to start with, that I never wanted it to come to this, uh, but I have been left with no choice. I must today cancel my friend and colleague, Michael Knowles. Of course, I've known for a long time that Michael is not a believer in aliens. I've listened to him repeatedly slander the alien believer community, ABC, and I have shown great and admirable restraint, choosing not to respond in kind, but now he has crossed a line. So he was baiting me to watch the segment, and I took the bait. I was expecting it to be ignorant and factually incorrect, and it lived up to those expectations or down to them, but I did not expect the level of vitriol and hate that I encountered. He launched a vicious, defamatory broadside against the entire ABC, even calling me out by name, which means he's attacking the ABC and the SBG, the ABC SBG. He stopped short of saying that we should be eradicated, but I know he was thinking it. You know, there's been a cold war over the alien issue at the Daily Wire for years now. But now Michael Knowles is firing shots. Uh, Here's the clip. Another story I had to get to today. This is out of UCI. The University of California, Irvine. Terminator zones on distant planets could harbor life, UC Irvine astronomers say. These in-between regions could be prime sites for liquid water. In a new study, University of California, Irvine astronomers describe how extraterrestrial life has the potential to exist on distant exoplanets inside a special area called the Terminator zone, which is a ring on planets that always have one side facing its star and one side that's always in the dark. And the thing is, um, no, they couldn't. The thing is, I'm not even going to read the rest of the article. I'm certainly not going to read the study. Uh, No, the Terminator zones could not harbor life because extraterrestrial aliens aren't real. (laughs) They're not real. And the libs, just they love it. They're so fascinated by it. It's just, it made me think about how many completely ridiculous things the libs believe in. And yet they call us the gullible ones. They call us the fantastical ones. The libs believe in catastrophic global warming. It's going to kill us all in five minutes. The libs believe that boys can secretly be girls and girls can secretly be boys. And the libs believe in E.T., It's not real. There is. I know this is controversial on the right. I know my colleague Matt Walsh here is very pro ET. There is zero evidence that extraterrestrial life exists anywhere. Zero. The the best evidence they can muster is, well, the universe is really big. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. If there was one thing I know for sure, is that if an outsider attacks you, if an outsider says negative things about you, if an outsider came out at you and said all kinds of things about you, you would most likely care less about it. You You would most likely not give a dime about it. But If a friend did that, if a family member did that, if a colleague did that, if someone you trusted, someone you hold in high regards came out and said negative things about you, critique you, oh boy, that is painful. That is very very hurtful. In fact, that alone makes your stomach boys. And this is what Matt Walsh is finding out the hard way. Michael Norris even went as far as to call Matt Walsh stupid and ignorant. <laughs> because Matt Walsh has certain beliefs that him, Michael Newells, does not share. (laughs) And Matt Walls couldn't let this go. He could not let this go. He had to fight back. (laughs) And I love Matt Walls. He always starts by saying that, I try to ignore this. I tried my best to let this go. In fact, I have been ignoring this for a very long time. But I have realized that 
<laughs> it's not working out. And I had to say something about it. I love when he thought by that. <laughs> because that goes to show you how thin Matt was skin is. Like if you said anything against him, he is going to latch out. <laughs> like I remember when he made a video about Bekla Moveni and he was really, really rude and just outright insulting Declan. And even his own conservative brothers and sisters came out and said, Matt, mm, just listen. We love you. We are here for you. We support and understand you. In fact, we share the same views and opinions about so many things. But Matt, mm -mm, you went too far. You went too far. This is not the way to do things. Matt, please, maybe dial it down a little. No, take it down by a notch or 0.5, you know. And Matt was so angry. <laughs> He came out storming. <laughs> he said he is not going to apologize and he meant what he said and he is going to stand on what he said and that Declan was a destructive force for society. <laughs> so I'm not surprised he must have been very angry and he must have said to himself that this is where I draw the line. And I am, even though I walk in the same place with this guy, I'm going to call him out. And he also took to his platform to call him out. <laughs> if there's nothing to get from the video, but just seeing both of them at each other's neck is so much entertaining. <laughs> and I'm sure... Mike Noors is also going to make another video just trying to clarify or justify what he said and why he said what he said. And then Matt is going to come out with another video calling Mike Noors an uneducated and unhinged and a lack of knowledge person. <laughs> Someone who lacks knowledge and understanding on so many fronts. And then the wall will begin from there. <laughs> so do not worry, guys. I am going to be here to keep you updated. It's really entertaining to see these two guys on each other's neck. <laughs> but I will say this, right? If I were Matt Walsh, I would just let it go. There was no point drawing more attention to this. Because remember... Matt Walsh is much more popular than Michael Newells. And Michael Newells has been struggling to gain the popularity that Matt Walsh has. So this might just be a way to bring attention to Michael Newells. <laughs> well, if I'm Michael, that's what I'm going to do anyway. <laughs> so, but you guys out there, what do you think about this whole in fighting between Matt Walsh and Mike Newells. And how do you think it's going to end? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And also, please don't forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel because little bit of good we, like the one you are doing just now, help us a lot and we shall forever be grateful to you. So thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.